How to Activate Microsoft SharePoint Backups Cloud Ally SharePoint Backup Activation is a one-click affair. Self-service your backups with a single click. From the home page, click Add Backup Task. Select the service that you would like to backup. Enter a name to describe the backup and the SharePoint URL. You can copy the SharePoint URL by opening SharePoint and copying it from the address bar in your browser. Next, click Authenticate. You will be directed to the Microsoft login page. Make sure you sign in with your Microsoft admin account. The first time, the system will ask you to provide read and write access to your Microsoft tenant. You now have the option of choosing numerous configurable options. Do you want to automatically activate new SharePoint sites? The default is yes. Do you want to set how long to store auto-archived backups before they are deleted? How frequently would you like your data to be backed up? The default is daily, but if you'd like to back up more frequently, contact Cloud Ally Support. What time would you like your backup to run? You can choose whatever is convenient for you. Scroll down to the bottom portion of the screen to activate your backups. After selecting one or more SharePoint sites, click Activate in order for the backups to begin. They will start at the time that you selected on the initial configuration page. Success! The backup has been activated. When you return to your home page, the new backup job is listed there and the status says awaiting first run, meaning your data will be backed up at the scheduled time. Your previous backups that have already run say succeeded. The home page gives you a summary of how many SharePoint sites there are in total, how many are active, when this job was last backed up, and when it is next scheduled to be backed up. If you want an on-demand backup, you can choose to back up now rather than waiting for the scheduled time. From this menu, you can also pause future backups or resume a task that has been paused. As you can see, there is a recovery button on the home page, which leads you to perform a restore or a download of your backup. Click on the links after this video to learn more about how to recover your backed up data. Thanks for watching.